So hey guys, I'm back with another video and today's video we are going to talk about what cat dog classifier as you can say our hello world program in the deep learning. Okay. So in this video we are going to uh, create or we can say we are going to increase our accuracy and in the last video or uh, in the previous video we have seen that uh, we have achieved uh, our, you know, our kind of I can say uh, very not the very good accuracy but very decent accuracy okay so in today's video we are going to look at the how we can improve the accuracy and as well as vgg16 model okay and by how you can implement the uh, vgg16 model okay let me go for this first uh, the uh, the attempt to which we are going to, to take today okay so uh, nothing is just import the all the libraries which are required so cameras model sequential Pooling layer means convolution 2D, max pooling 2D, and then uh, dance, flatter, dropout. Okay, so we are going to use today dropout and batch normalization. Okay, so why? Okay, so the main idea behind today's topic is we are going to use dropout and uh, dropout and batch normalization. Okay, I can see the image. Okay, so yes, so. The main idea behind is that dropout and the batch normalization is uh, the dropout layer. If we use the dropout layer, it is like you know the sum of the neuron will not going to work for us. Okay, the sum of the it can happen that some of the neurons are not giving us the output. So if we drop these neurons, okay, as you can see from this architecture, if we drop some neurons in the hidden layers or uh, yeah in the input layer, so it can be possible that our accuracy will be going to increase okay so let's see so i'm just divide uh, giving the path and the all things like training data what will be the our image input size and channels okay and then image data generator to you know group cropping the image uh, the uh, zoom image in the okay so it's it going to create all these things and we have almost around 8000 image and 2000 image in the testing data okay so as you can see, this is the our main code where I am going to implement this thing. So we have used the batch normalization. Okay, well, batch normalization is used to normalize the data because you know if you do the normalization, uh, it will give you the better result because uh, uh, you can have, you all uh, know that in the machine learning we use standard scalar, mean max scalar to normalize our data. So it can give you the best result and it can fit with the model. Okay, so that's how it will work and as you can see from here that uh, in the and the all layers we are going to use dropout so dropout is for 0.25 so whatever the neurons are having okay we have three neurons okay so the 0.25 of them are going to drop okay because they are not giving us uh, I, I can we can assume that these are the all the hyper parameters okay you can uh, tune it okay you can work with these things and uh, generally they give you the better result or it's uh, it depends upon the you know the hyper tuning. You have to do the hyper tuning of these things, okay? And you have seen this in the previous one that how we are going to implement this. And uh, yes, as you can see from over here, that we are uh, using these things. And yes, that uh, we haven't uh, means we use the dropout layer all these things and. Now we are going to compile it. So binary cross entropy, Adam optimizer. You can also give all another optimizer like uh, Ada Delta, Ada Grade, RMS prop. Okay, you can give it. And yeah, so we have around ten epochs, and the sample per epoch, steps per epochs are almost around eight thousand, which gives the all the training data, and we have given the batch size over here. Okay. So batch size is around, I think, no, we haven't given the batch size. So if we go for batch size, it, it will take a, and yeah, it will take a time for sure, because uh, 8,000 epochs are not, uh, and it will take resources. So it gives accuracy almost around 97%, and the validation accuracy, okay, so validation accuracy, if you see, it is not increasing that much, okay, 90, 90, 90, okay. So we can give the callback over here in the, I can say over here that uh, model.compile that we can give the callbacks to, you know, if the, val uh, we can give the validation at the loss. If it is, uh, uh, validation loss is increasing, okay, as you can see the validation loss is increasing over here. 
so we can stop it over here to to go to the overfitting model okay so that's how that and uh, if you think that your model is good pretty good then you can save this model and save the weights too and yes so these are the all the graph okay you can see these are the epochs where our loss of the training data which you can see the loss is decreasing and the accuracy is almost improving and uh, if you see the uh, in the test data the way so we can over here yes as you can see we can uh, prevent this thing to uh, using the callbacks and the accuracy is not that much increasing so that's all and let's predict so you just uh, do these things image blow then to array and they expand the dimension okay and it gave you results also today we are going to understand the vgg 16 layers how you can implement this thing so vgg 16 layers is you vgg 16 is a uh, you have uh, you can do that is it nothing but a pre-trained model okay so as you can see this is the model which has 16 layers okay i have created a vgc 16 also and it gives you around decent accuracy on just five box almost around 93 percent accuracy so you just have to do nothing just you have to import the vgc 16 by the uh, keras dot uh, application dot vgc 16 okay if you want to use vgc 19 you can over here okay vgc 19 and vgc 19 okay then uh, input shape is 224 and then uh, we are giving the three input channel okay it means uh, rgb channel and the weights are from the imaginary the imaginary is nothing but it's a competition as uh, uh, it's held in the uh, it determines the uh, it a competition which determines the uh, this uh, uh, using this particular architecture the classes means the cat dog it, it can uh, classify more than that okay include top equals to false means it did it, it it will not going to use this fully connected layer okay if you say first we have two convolution layer then two then three three and then three fully connected layers okay it will not going to include this because it has almost around thousand classes so we have and also we are going to use uh, layers that trainable equals to false so uh, we can train our model in these things and just we have to give the uh, softmax function uh, you can uh, yes in the, if you are using the software function then you have to give the two because we have two uh, classes like uh, uh, one is the cat and one is the dog and if you are using the sigmoid then you have to just give the one okay it belongs to one class so but now you have to give the model and it will be so i can say if you can see it's almost around 14 million parameters total and yes this is the model dot summary uh, the vgg 16 layer and uh, we are going to fit it yes yeah, sample per epochs are given these things and yeah i can say like it's a pretty good model which gives uh, you a very good decent accuracy okay and yeah it's that's all about and as per the thumbnail i have also created a flask cap for this okay uh, uh, let me give you the uh, so how we can how I created this thing? Okay, this is nothing but a uh, app.py file which we use in the Flask application. Okay, if your model is giving you a decent accuracy, then just show to model .say and it will use uh, like you know I have loaded the model over here. This is the my model file. Okay, and uh, nothing just and look the whatever uh, I can see you the page it will take a time to run because and it will take the resources so that's why i'm not running right now i'm just giving you the overview how you can do it sorry my comment yeah post it to yeah screenshot file okay yes as you can see from the image that we have to just choose the image and that it will give you the results as the results suggest dot okay so how it i so first of all you have to image uh, you have to save the image in the particular folder okay uh, yes the image will be for uh, save the folder and it will go to the here the function is defined that function take the file path and the model okay model i have defined earlier that you have to take this model uh, after that we are going to convert uh, this uh, means first we load the image the target size is raised if you change the target size it will 
give you the error okay so image to error then expand dimension and we have to go into predict classes but predict classes give you the class that it belongs okay it gives you zero or one and predict give you the model dot predict give you the uh means it give you the probability it is 0 0.65 0 0.8 somewhat like this so i have created a class over if it is zero then cat if it's one then dog if you if you have multiple classes you can do like this okay zero one two three four it will be helpful to you so okay and then uh, i have uh, it will return the predict prediction okay it will return zero one something like that so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a classes predict so it will give you the numpy array okay numpy array uh, in the form of that so whatever the one it will if it will give me the one so you know this is the key value pair so one is the key and the value is the dog so it will fetch that and the predicted image as dog okay somewhere like that and it is uh, returning so and it will go to the, my templates and it will return somewhere like this okay so i have changed some little uh, uh, things afterwards but uh, it's look like this okay not an issue okay i will give you my github link where i have posted all my code over here like attempt to i have not i haven't posted my because the h5 file it's very large means almost around the uh, uh, 40 to 50 mb so i cannot use this thing so that's why but i you know attempt to is here the first bit flash and flash that all these things is here okay if you want to find this thing you can go to my github repo i will include this github repo to my description in the youtube video don't worry about these things and if and uh, if you want to create uh, you know if you want to uh, uh, please support me on the CTAP channel okay it will be very helpful to me and uh, if you have any query regarding this video or any other video please try to comment on this video okay so bye bye and see you in the next video